In this video, I'm going to solve five word problems. Generally, if you're given three numbers and asked to find the fourth, you can use a proportion to find the missing number. I'll give you a moment to read this. So notice we're given three numbers. The pay is 415, eight days. They want total pay for working 20 days. So we're given these three numbers and they want the fourth. A proportion is a good way to set this up. What I like to do is just pick out the two categories that they're giving me, pay and days, and just use them in the order they're given. So we're going to have pay over days and just stick with that order. I'm going to give myself some room here to work with and we'll be filling in the values. So take home pay is 415. For working eight days What will be your total take-home pay? So pay what will be your pay for working 20 days. Notice days are on the bottom. Now we just solve for x. I want x by itself. Get rid of the 20. We have a common factor of 4. Divide by 4. Divide by 4. Of course, on this side, they cleaned up. 20 goes into 20 once. So now we have 5 times 4, 15 div divided by 2. So let's see what this is. So 2,075 is our numerator. We have 2 in the denominator. And over here we just have x. So all we have to do is clean this up. Since they want the total take-home pay, we should represent this as a decimal, since money is usually in decimal form. And I'll do my scratch work off to the side. Two goes into zero, zero times. Bring down your seven. Two goes into 15, seven times. We need another digit. Put in the decimal. Tell the world. Give yourself a zero and bring it down. Two goes into 10, five times. If we're talking about money, this is $1,037.50. I'll give you a minute to read this, and then we're going to look to see if there's three numbers given, and we're asked to find a fourth. Okay, so looking at this, this 4G connection doesn't have much to do with our proportion. It's just explaining what we're looking at. So we're concerned with 9 hundredths of a gig in 15 minutes. So gigs and minutes. One gig. How many minutes? So our categories are going to be gigabytes and minutes. I just stick with that. I'm going to give myself some room if I want to do some work here. And then just plug in the numbers. So 9 hundredths is 15 minutes. How many minutes? So minutes are on the bottom. 1 gigabyte. 
now all we have to do is solve for x. x is in the bottom, you got to get it out from here. I could clean this up first, but generally with decimals, I deal with them when I have to. So we're just going to clear this of fractions. The LCD is 15x. The 15's cancel, the X's cancel. We're left with 9 hundredths X is equal 15 times 1. You want X by itself. Divide by 9 hundredths. Obviously those are going to cancel. We'll do this calculation off to the side. Of course, move your decimal. Put in the decimal and move it tell the world. You'll need some zeros to hold these two places. 9 goes into 15 once. 9 goes into 66 times. 9 goes in there 6 times. And I think you know this pattern is going to go on forever. We're asked to round down to the nearest minute we have 166. I don't care what's showing up. If I round down, it stays at 166. And remember, these canceled. I'll give you a minute to read this. So notice we're given three values and asked to find the fourth. We have 14 minutes, 5 hundredths of a gig. How many minutes, that's what we're asked to find, with an allowance of 5 tenths of a gig. So the categories are minutes and gigabytes. I just take them in the order they're given and I stick with it. I'll leave myself a little room and then just fill in the values. 14 minutes, 5 hundredths of a gig, how many minutes? 5 tenths of a gig. We have our proportion, we just have to solve for x. All we need to do is get rid of the 5 tenths. We'll have x by itself. Usually with decimals, I don't bother to clean it up before I start. We're just going to get rid of the 5 tenths. So that's times 5 tenths times 5 tenths. Of course, over here, those will cancel. It goes into itself once. Multiplication is easier than division, so I'm going to do the multiplication first. I can fit it in here. Seven, one decimal place. So the numerator just turns into a seven. Half of 14 is seven. The denominator is still five hundredths. And over here we have x by itself. So that doesn't really describe how many minutes we need to clean this up. Do my scratch work over here. Five goes into seven once. Bring that down. Five goes in there four times. Use up your last zero. 5 goes into 0, 0 times. So you have 140 minutes. I'll give you a minute to read this. So we have 46 were drafted out of 18,000 players. So 600 players, how many drafted? 
So the categories are drafted and players. You might identify them some other way, but basically you just need your two categories so you can set up your proportion. And again, I just take them in the order they're given. We have drafted over players. And now stick with it. I give myself some room if I want to do any canceling. And now just fill in the values. We had 46 drafted. out of 18,000 players. So if your state has 600 players, how many are likely to get drafted? We've set up our proportion. All we have to do is solve for x. To get x by itself, just get rid of 600. Um, these are pretty big numbers I could reduce before I even start. But multiplying by 600, I'm going to get to cancel some zeros. So I'm just going to go ahead and show the multiplication. So it's times 600 times 600. So these cancel. You have x by itself. Over here I can divide by 100 and divide by 100. And I'm just going to keep reducing. 6 goes into 18, so 6 goes into 180. If you divide by 6, you get 1. If you divide 18 by 6, you would get 3, and then you just deal with that 0. So 6 goes into 180 30 times. Notice we can still reduce here, so we'll just keep reducing. Common factor of 2, divide by 2, you get 23. Divide by 2, you get 15. So for the most part, we reduced our way to an answer. We've got 23 fifteenths. They want us to write this as a mixed number and then round to the nearest whole number. So 15 goes into 23 one time with 8 left over. So that's exactly what x is equal to, 1 and 8 fifteenths. 8 fifteenths is a little bit more than 1 half. So x is approximately equal to 2. And that's how many are likely to be drafted. If this was 7 fifteenths, I would have had to round it down to 1 because 7 fifteenths is a little bit less than half. By the way, these are true statistics from the NCAA. I'll give you a minute to read this. So notice we're given three numbers, five dozen, two and a quarter cups, three dozen, how much flour, how many cups. So you're given three, you're asked to find the fourth. Let's identify the categories. So five dozen chocolate chip cookies. This is going to look like a lot of words for a category. I don't need chocolate chip, but it's dozen cookies. And 
and I don't need all purpose, but cups of flour. Again, you might use different words to identify the categories, but somehow you just have to identify two categories. I'll take them in the order given. If you just say cookies over flour, you might lose track of the fact you're talking about dozens of cookies and cups of flour. So I like to have my units in there. It's not critical though. Set up our proportion with a little room for scratch work and then plug in the numbers. Five dozen, two and a quarter cups, I only want three dozen, how much flour, how many cups. All right, variables in the denominator. I need to get this out of here. If I multiply by the LCD, I'll clear it of fractions. This side's pretty confusing to look at. I think I'm just gonna clean this up first. So I just have one fraction here instead of a complex fraction. Five over one divided by two and one fourth. We'll do our scratch work over here. If I divide by eight nine-fourths, that means I multiply by four-ninths. So this gives me 20 over nine. So I can rewrite this mess as 20 over nine. I'll just bring this down. And again, I'm just going to clear it of fractions. The LCD is 9x. The 9's cancel. The X's cancel. We're left with 20x is equal to 27. Get rid of this 20, so divide by 20. Of course, they cancel, and we have, I'll write this off to the side x is equal to 27 twentieths. They want an exact mixed number. So x is equal to 1 with 7 left over. And this is cups. I'll mention two things. When setting up these proportions, I just take them in the order they're given. If you want to make sure your variable stays on top, you can figure out what category has the variable and simply put it on top. You just have to be consistent in how you set it up. So I could have done this whole problem with cups flour over dozen cookies and notice that would have given me a variable on top and solved it. It's just a little more work when the variable's in the bottom. I'm not going to do it this way because I just encourage you take it in the order it's given, but I'll show how it would be set up. So you could have set it up this way and you would get the exact same answer. If you'd like some practice with these concepts, as long as you're at my website, I have Two worksheets, each with a detailed answer key.